Oh, hey, Charles Xavier Anthony Walters the third here. Hey, nice shark shirt. And all my life, I've been labeled Not. different. People just don't get me sometimes. Like, they might even say I'm a fish out of water. <laughs> but seriously, there's one place where I can go that I feel like I'm the big kahuna, a king, a rock star. Do you have an aquatic line or... And that place is the Oklahoma Aquarium. Oh, hello there, friends. I bet you're wondering, what am I doing out here? Yeah. Well, it just so happens that I'm looking for prehistoric marine fossils. Uh, Why would I be looking for prehistoric marine fossils in Oklahoma, you might be asking? Well, the answer is quite simple. Millions and millions of years ago, during the Paleozoic and some of the Mesozoic era, Oklahoma was completely underwater. That's right, this landlocked state used to be under shallow seas. Now, fossils weren't the only thing left behind by these ancient waters. In fact, many of the aquatic life that call Oklahoma home are actually ancestors of prehistoric animals. And here's the cool thing. The Oklahoma Aquarium is home to many of them. Let's check it out. Welcome to Aquatic Oklahoma, where you can get up close and personal to some of the most amazing animals that are native to our state. Many of the animals you see today look very different from their ancestors, but that's not always the case. Some modern day marine life have actually been referred to as primitive creatures meaning they still look very similar to the way their ancestors did millions of years ago. Here's one now. This is an alligator gar, or also known as a living fossil, because its existence can be traced back to 100 million years ago. Another animal that closely resembles its ancestors from millions of years ago is the alligator snapping turtle. Did you know that turtles are some of the earliest known reptiles still to be in existence today? Yeah, these guys were said to be around during the dinosaurs. Wow. Speaking of old, this guy's nickname is Grandpa. Pet dog, yeah. The experts believe this guy was born in 1898, which makes him 124 years old. As you can see, uh, he's pretty popular around here. Hey kids. What do you call a famous turtle? A celebrity. Uh huh. No, what? No? No. Nope. My dad thought that was a funny joke. Now, just because Oklahoma is not a part of the ocean anymore and our marine life is adapted to fresh water, doesn't mean that we're not connected to the salty seas. Let me explain. That body of water back there is called the Arkansas River, which is connected to the Gulf of Mexico through the Mississippi River. What does that matter to you? Well, it means that how we treat our land and our water will eventually affect the ocean and the marine life that lives inside it. Quick joke, why do fish swim in schools? Because they can't walk. Uh -huh. Yep. And it's now more important than ever to take care of our water both here and far away. And the Oklahoma Aquarium does a great job of helping to take care of marine ecosystems. And no one knows how to take care of water better than my friend Kenny. What's up, Kenny? Hey, Charles. Good to see you. I'm glad you made it. But this is incredible. <laughs> Pretty neat, isn't it? Oh my God. <laughs> is this the filtration system for the whole aquarium? No, no, believe it or not. All this that you see is just for this sea turtle exhibit. Just for the sea turtle. Just for the sea turtle. Yeah, I can see how much it takes to keep these animals alive. Yeah. And the filtration, is the most important thing in the entire aquarium. We have special filtration that, that cleans all that muddy water, sterilizes it, takes about 24 hours, and then by morning, uh, we can pump it back in, it's crystal clear. And it's also better for the ecosystem. Right, yeah. right. Awesome, yeah. thanks so much, Kenny. Absolutely. Appreciate you. You bet, thanks, Charles. Man, this place never gets old, unlike this prehistoric guy. <laughs> but seriously, come check out the Oklahoma Aquarium before you go extinct. Uh -huh. I'm kidding. It's, I'm, I'm kidding.